Hey everybody, this is the first episode of the Low Level Legends cast. And today we have a game between my buddy, Italian Space Mafia, and uh, his opponent, Artificial Stupidity. Both these guys, I think, are like in the mid-1000s, like 1500 or so, uh, you can see above. So they're pretty solid, like mid-level players, you know, roughly around the 15th percentile for both of them. Um, <clears throat> Italian Space Mafia is playing as the Vermont today. He's got Defensive Doctrine... You got your infantry doctrine and the spearhead doctrine. Our first speed has got Lendlease, airborne troops, and shock rifle frontline tactics as the Soviets. Uh, pretty standard starts we got for both of them. I see some conscripts coming out from our speedy, and we got a MG and some grins from Mr. Tiny Space Mafia. Just wired off that door of the building there. Very nice. Little casual combat over here. I feel like he should be putting down some sandbags here, but he's he's not doing this. Instantly grab the star point, which is uh again something newer players like to do, just go for that star really early on. I think it's sometimes useful if you can get some green cover on the star, because that usually pays off later in the game, but again he didn't even put down the sandbags there, so I don't think you really need to rush that. That star. He's also going for the other star over here. These guys are just chilling. Uh, got the MG fighting the conscripts here. The conscripts trying to stay out of the arc. We got the pioneers coming in to try to chase them around. Um, got a little cat and mouse going on here. Got these grenadiers just chilling over here, relaxing. There we go, and the conscripts have to retreat. And here's still chilling. There we go. Again, I went through the star first. No cover yet. Did not decide to go for the fuel over here. Just two and a half minutes into the game, still not even touching the fuel. The fuel over here is just now getting connected. So a little, I think, a little strange capture points order, order of capturing the points there. I'm, I'm not sure if I approve of that. Um, we got a third Gren coming up from Italian Space Mafia. And we got four conscripts here from Artificial Stupidity. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Maybe he'll go for Airborne and try to get some SVTs on them. We'll see, we'll see. It's usually what we see with uh, the, the airborne builds that we see. We see four conscripts. Wired off nothing over here. It's interesting. Also, still is not taking this little point over here. It's an easy one to take and to hold. Going for that muni cutoff, trying to steal those minis from him. See. This just kind of gives Artificial Stupidity a perfect place to put a sandbag behind if he wants to. Um, look at the strange position of those sandbags. Rage widening. Just now taking the fuel for Artificial Stupidity. It's been four minutes with absolutely no fuel control from Artificial Stupidity just because he didn't want it. He'd rather have those stars. These guys kind of chilling. I guess there's a squad going over for a little harassment, maybe some fuel harassment. Flamers coming up here. Are they going to be able to scare off the Grens though? We'll find out. Oop, looking. Yeah, let's grab after a tree. Grenadiers! Grenadiers here just doing nothing. They're just uh, relaxing. Relax behind that bush there while those guys take the point. Not interested in fighting today. We're like hiding in bushes, but not fighting. Finally going to cap this little territory point. Oh, and I didn't notice it, but artificial stupidity. Artificial stupidity. Artificial stupidity has 
chosen land lease, which will let him get the Empress Sherman, Dishka, Assault Guards, Disease Supply Truck, and Infantry Repair Kits. And it looks like Mr. Italian Space Mafia is also locked in defensive. Again, a little uh, strange stuff going over there. AMG still over here. Getting pounded by that mortar. Lost the man. Combat in the middle here between the combat engineers and the. Big mortar hits. Could get a wipe, could get a wipe, could get a wipe. Get a wipe, get a wipe. No. This cutoff here <clears throat> is really annoying because if you lose it as the northern player, it's a pain to take back because the uh, other guy can just sit behind this green cover over here. But I think we'll be able to defend it pretty well here with these two conscript squads. Ooh, we got a big old grenade going there. And a disgusting, pretty early wipe. Well done, and they're still going strong. We've got seven kills already. A little damage on the last squad here. Could be a second wipe. Could it be another wipe. Oh, please say no. Please say no. Oh, that was really almost catastrophic. Finally getting chased off. They must have got a good ten kills there, though. That was pretty, pretty bad. There is a sandbag over here, though. Look at that. The first and uh, only sandbag I've seen from Artificial Stupidity. Uh, that dish goes up and is shooting through that tiny hole. Tiny hole in the bushes there. Interesting retreat there. Maybe put medics up. Let's see. Just going for a little stroll over here with the uh, combat engineers with the flamer supporting. Um, so far I only see one. Yeah, there's only one engineer squad, and it has a flamer. So, first to get speedy, could be pretty vulnerable to mines if uh, Italian space mafia wants to take advantage of that. Oh, it's this uh, defensive bunker here. They've reinforced HMG bunkers going up uh, to cover that middle point, I guess. It is now getting shelled by the mortar. DJ is setting up here. Can't catch the pan screen before they get the building up. Just to get that combat engineer squad to help out. The bunker does go up, but it's at pretty low health here. Combat going on in the east. Looks like we get that cap. Nice. Combat engineers finally coming up to help out, and the parents are going to have to leave. Looks like the order almost went down to rev grenade. Looking pretty close over here, though. This moves up a little bit. Those combat engineers are going to get caught by that, probably. There they go. And caught by the HMG bunker. Uh, might still be able to chase off the grants, though. We've got a mortar from Tiny Space Mobby firing away over here. We only have tech wise, so. Just have that first building there. And over here, we also are not seeing any. Tenkova, whatever it's called. So, not going for D70? Looks like he's not going for D70, or it'd be a very late one if he does go for it. Extremely late, I would say. And... Didn't quite heal up that mortar crew, but we're sending it back in. Let's go. Taking a turn here. I guess they don't want to get caught out by that. I think smoke would be a good thing to do in front of that 
mortar, but kind of thinking we're not going to see that. I don't know where he's going with his mortar right now. Dish got taken that back. Let's see the MG. Does it have range on the MG? Really not. So a little too far. And, ooh, they get the mortar. Got these panzer guns are rolling up. I guess he was trying to catch the squad and retreat, but uh, it was way too late for that. Over here we got uh squad in the building could be used to take that. I don't know why he's trying to use one squad for all this. He's two squads right here. Let's get out of the building. Let's let's move, boys. Those pioneers are gonna have to retreat. Or die. This mortar set up here. Very aggressively. And might get the pin though. So I got the pin. Nice, nice, nice. Is he gonna try to pin all of them, or is he gonna retreat? He's gonna retreat. Probably the right decision there. Again, this cutoff is getting taken by Italian Space Mafia. Um, I'm wondering if we're gonna see this Stug E. All he has to do is escalate to Battle Phase 2. He doesn't actually have to build the building. So, Our opponents are seizing a sector. He could call it in pretty soon. He did escalate to battle phase two, so it does sound like he might be going for that. That Stugi. I find the Stugi to be pretty underwhelming, personally, but uh, I don't know. Some people like to spam it, so maybe it's okay. I feel like it's not. But whatever. Um, these Panzer Guns are going to rip those conscripts out of cover. Actually, a little bit of cover. Maybe one or ooh, a couple guys in that cover. Tiny crater. Mortar just doing work. Dishka very boldly rushing that point and then turning the fuck around. Panzergrins ripping some conscripts up. Oh, it's gonna get a wipe. They're gonna get a wipe. They're gonna get a wipe. Oh, disgusting. Yeah, that's a nice wipe. We do see a second combat engineer, though. I'm hoping he'll be upgraded with minesweepers. We have not seen minesweepers from Battalion Space Off yet. These guys are doing a little dance around this, this fence here. Doesn't quite know where he wants to go with these guys. Alright, I guess we'll just ran around the fence there. Some kind of traditional folk dance. This MG here, I think, would be better suited in that building, perhaps. And these guys are not capturing that point. We gotta be a little bit closer. I do hate it when that happens. When you're like, you think you're on the point, but you're actually not. Let's put them behind the cover. And we see a Stug E. It's too busy micro in that Stug E to take that point. All right. To there we go. Now we're Definitely could have already capped it by now. Um, we got this Dishka. Not in cover. Probably going to lose these grads over here. Almost certainly going to lose those grads. Stugi? It's just, it's just like psychological. A psychological. A psychological terror. More than an actual terror, I think. It's got a one kill so far. Probably should get a. MG on that to help out with the anti-MG damage. Is this going to go down? What are, they, what are these guys doing? Again, some, some more fence traditional traditional folk dances here. Ooh, could lose this vetted Panzer Grand Squad. Oh, it gets killed by the T-70. That is the latest T-70 I've ever seen. Well, what time was that? Like, what, 14 minutes? Wow, that is uh, a bold move. A bold move if I've ever seen one. And it's gonna go fight the Stoogie all by itself. I guess there's gonna help it out. Ooh, it's getting shot by that pack though. And it's turning around. Pops out the tank commander there. Look at that. Looking around, taking a gander. Looking at my own base. 
ready. It goes back in. Um, we got another we bunker coming up here. And it's gonna have to... It's gonna have to go. These guys need to retreat also. ASAP. 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 Ooh, and sniped by the T-70. That T-70 has got two wipes to its name already. It's mines down. Very nice. Very nice. I like to see that. Tired of having this point decaps with no punishment whatsoever. T-70. Also doing the fence dance here. The fence dance. There we go. Very nice. He built that uh, piece of green cover behind the point there. I feel like he should be using that one more than the building. I feel like he needs to take that point back. Ooh. We have lost the mortar battle was, uh, was lost by the Wehrmacht there. Got a flare up there. Nice. Enemy now he knows the bunker is still there. Territory. The enemy is attacking one of our forward buildings. That Zeus needs to be over here shooting at the bunker. Not doing nothing on this side. He needs to be right here shooting, killing the bunker. Or, you know, get some smoke from these mortars again. Not seeing any of that. Some assault guards here. Finally throwing the grenades, but now they're building already. And getting ripped up by this squad. This squad, it just loves this fence. It's just always behind this fence, or this fence over here. It needs to be taking some points. And what do you know? The empty bunker has suppressed another squad. God forbid we use some smoke. God forbid. God forbid. T70 doing his job, trying to destroy that cover there. Almost got it. Stu E firing at smoke shells. Very nice. I like to see that. I like to see the Stu E doing something useful. First of all, artificial stupidity, I cannot say his name is pretty close to the M4C. He only needs 20 more fuel, or what is it? Five more fuel. Wow, okay, very close. Just a little bit more manpower. Contesting this fuel point over here. Uh, again, I feel like this MG team should probably be in that building, maybe. Again, because you can't see behind it. If somebody just walks into this building and pops a squad in, they can easily dislodge that MG. Stu E trying to scare off those common engineers successfully. Grenadiers trying to chase off that mortar team. Can't be chased off themselves. Is he moving up over here? Harvest mm. Pity. What is he doing? Building another conscript squad instead of getting the M4C Sherman. I just, I, I'm baffled. I am baffled by that choice there. I definitely do not think a conscript squad is what he needs right now. But they're here. They're here. He might not eat them, but we got them. What is this, uh... The parents are four out, thank god. Glad that Italian space off is not just spamming to ease. I was kind of expecting that. Ooh, that mine gets a couple models there. But there's nobody to finish them off. There's nobody to stop the contesting. And it's, it's going to be lost, sadly. This MG heroically holding this point against nobody. Oh. T70, looking for another wipe, looking for another wipe. Uh, 
probably not gonna get it, but should be able to scare off that MG, hopefully. P4 is coming over to help. And these guys taking that point back. Trying to use the incendiary rounds there. Doesn't really do very much to me though. Almost nothing actually. P4. Shots off. Reference to Biddy has got to get that enforcer sure sharpener now, which is manpower is it? It's got to be like, what? 380. Come on. Click the button. Get it. Get it. Come on, buddy. Stay low. Okay. Nice little triple cap here from Titan Space Mafia. And we are finally taking this point. I feel like he spent a lot of the game just staring at it. And, uh... Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're not going to see him take the point. I guess not. Getting a minefield here. What is that? S mines. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 270. Uh oh. He's going for that wipe. He wants that wipe. Oh, hit by its own S mines that just finished putting down. That's. Oh, it's painful to watch. MG crew. The Dishka got wiped here by the Panzergram. I guess with the grenade. Very nice. The Vet 3 combat engineers are... Yeah, I don't know why they moved to cover there. That was kind of not useful. In fact, they actually got closer to the Panzergrants, which was not good. But they did manage to scare out the Panzergrants. Well done. And keep their fuel. Over here, we've got the Stute E doing work. With an astounding three kills. What a monster. Yeah, so this Pinter 4 has been on the field for a lot less time. The Stoogie has already got more kills. It's more of a threat to vehicles. I, I don't know. The Stoogie is just more of a gimmick to me in general. I'm not sure if that's actually a useful thing. It does have the smoke shells, though. Pretty cool. And it's also got these heat shells. I've never actually seen anybody use those, but uh, it has them. And this uh, Brave Tank Commander. Looking around there. We are awaiting orders. Only two hundred points remain. But yeah. Mr. Artificial Stupidity has got to do something here. In the very near future. He wants to turn this around. It's, which points are not in his favor right now. This trench. Put a trench down. Which is going to be promptly destroyed. Little place pack there. Missing. P4 coming out to help. MG42, again, bravely holding the side of the map. Doing a good job. I feel like this would be a good point, maybe, for Artificial Spitty to send some of this giant blob, which is doing what? I have no idea. I'm trying to repair it? I guess they have the, uh, the infantry repair kits, so maybe they're trying to repair, but it's, uh, those guard stones. Yeah, this is a giant blob. I feel like they're going to get bogged down over here. They've got... I don't know. There's only one MG holding this entire side. You can just send over the T-70 or the M4C for like half a second, scare off that uh, MG, and uh, go take that star. Still, three kills on that uh, Stoogie. Four. Very, very well done. Um, we are seeing some contesting of the field point here on the west. That is west. West. And we got some Panzergrants with Shreks. Wow. Still all quiet. Only the sounds of battle heard. Uh oh. I missed something. 270 killed by those Panzergrams, I guess. Didn't have uh, time to get back, or perhaps too busy microing something else. Like I was microing the camera away from the action. Uh, I feel like that Stoogie could probably go and help out over here. No breath for grenade there. We got 500. Oh, 550. 
munis here. Uh, These guys have not been upgraded with the. Oh, one of them's getting upgraded with the blast reserves. All of them should be. And he's got enough for another M4C, but he's not built. Man. A lot of Zeus here. Could be a dead tank, maybe? Nope, that one decided to do a little a little jig. A little dance there. And it's shooting now. It's gonna sort of keep backing up. Backing up. Ooh, main gun destroyed from the mortar. That is a uh, Annoying trench in the middle. I would be pretty frustrated if I saw that. If I saw Stug E's and trenches and MG bunkers, I would be fucking furious. Absolutely livid. These Pandagrins bravely fighting. Ooh. The assault guards. So guards throwing some grenades and some dirt. Mortar wiped again. That's definitely the uh, second or third time that mortar's gone down. We are down to Trench probably gonna go down in the near the near future here. I hope so. Oh, this could be a that could be a dead Panzer four if you wanted it. My trench still holding on by uh, a pube hair. God, it's always MGs firing so loud. I barely hear myself. Ah! Probably should turn the volume. This thing's gotta keep going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Might be a trade, though. Might be a trade. Yes, it was a trade. Well done. Probably. Didn't need to be a trade, though. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. SMG, again, bravely holding off this whole side. Can't quite see those guys, though. But they are going to show their face and get shot. Can I get both of them? Can he pin both of them? Yes, he can. SMG is an absolute hero here. Got like the same amount of kills as that Stugi. Let's see, the Stugi is... How's it doing? Six kills. Sit on six whole kills over here. A real battlefield menace. Um, we got some sector artillery coming in from Italian Space Mafia. Could be pretty scary. Let's go in the middle. That annoying trench. New annoying trench, it looks like. It is, uh, doing its job. And, uh, Mr. Stupidity is still just baffled by this, uh, Marine Ford HP bunker. He does not understand what to do about it. These guys are probably your What's going on here? Oh, all right. Putting bazookas on the assault guards, don't see that very often. It does look pretty cool though. Sector artillery is uh, done. Got a little hurrah going on, but it's not enough to actually snare it, so there's no point in that really. Double Z's is moving up. Sector artillery is done now. Oh, you gotta get out of there, buddy. You gotta get out of there. You gotta get out. Nope. Oh, and the uh, commander was ejected. Taking the side back with the all-powerful single MG that is holding this entire side of the map. Yeah, I really think uh, Arthur Stupidity has to change his uh, his war goals here. Maybe maybe decide that East perhaps is more important than the West here. And there's another Stugi. I would be pooping my pants if I saw that. Just pooping my panties. Four, get the pencil mounted MG for the machine gun, as it should. Um, that MG bunker is still suppressing everybody. Trench down. It's knowing that the guys took no damage whatsoever from the trench dying, I guess that's how trenches work. Over 
here we got the Panzer Grants with the Shreks doing just work. 16 kills on the Shreked up Panzer Grants. Are we going to see a grenade throw at those guys? Probably not. Man, they're fearless, though. They're just fearless. <laughs> Killing those, uh, conscripts with Shreks. Ooh, didn't pick it up. And the MG here. Doing his job. Turning the job of the entire Eastern Front Army over here. Another trench. Another trench. You bastard. You bastard Italian Space Mafia. Trench spamming loser. And another trench. What do you know? Learn to play, bro. Stop spamming the trenches. You don't need them. You don't need them. Yeah, these guys can actually build uh, sandbags, too. So I feel like sandbags might be better at this point, but whatever. That's a big blob. And they're finally going to deal with that MG bunker, I hope. Those Zeus's just need targeted for like a second. And support coming in. Ten points left. This MG bunker still existing. Still existing. To our official stupidity's surprise, the MG bunker still exists. It is not self-destructed. It is still there. You have to shoot it. There we go. This is finally. Oh, but they might actually get it. They might get wiped first. Oh, still alive. Still alive. Yep. They're actually... Wow. That is a heroic MG bunker. That guy is just opening up in there. That MG bunker looks terrible, by the way. Definitely a COH-1 asset. And the M4C Sherman coming to finish it off. Oh, and it goes down. Only three points left. Artificial stupidity. Artichokey stupidity here. Um... Get an easier to pronounce name, dude. Come on, please. Do me a favor. Nope, oh, and going for that fuel boldly. That's very important right now. The fuel is very important when you have three points left. Uh, uh, Sherman, you're gonna hit. I was looking at one trick, though, that's right. And a giant blob. Is there a new bunker? No, no, no new bunker. <laughs> that point suddenly being held, though. It's going to be too late. But luckily, luckily, he's going to get that fuel. Um, well, everybody, that was the end of the game. Um, I think... Artificial stupidity. Artificial stupidity. Um, perhaps... Built too much infantry? He... The most baffling choice to me... Well, there's a couple ones. The teeth. 70 coming in at like 14 minutes was a really bad choice. Although it did get like three wipes, so maybe maybe I'm wrong there. I definitely would have gone for the M4C Sherman at that point, though. I think he was pretty close to get, being able to buy a Sherman if he just went for the tech. He also built another scout of conscripts when he had enough fuel to go for the Sherman, and I don't understand why he did that. Um, for Italian Space Mafia, I think that uh, those two were pretty underwhelming. The, each of them got like, what, three kills? He built two of them. Like, well, maybe, one, maybe had seven when it died. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's hard to justify building the Stugs. They are really pretty, pretty trash. Although they do look pretty cool. We've got a tiny little gun there. Um, I think, in general, though, Ostwin is better at killing infantry. And, I mean, the P4, obviously, is a better choice in general, too. Um, I just don't see them really making their money. They could be annoying with those smoke shells, though. Um, yeah, that, that MG bunker in the middle was huge for a dying space mafia. Um, Artificial Stability just did not want to kill it. He he just ignored it, stubbornly ignored it for the entire game until the last minute there when it was already way too late. So there you go. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope you maybe learned from these players' mistakes and maybe you saw some interesting strats that you don't normally see. I and mean, I don't really see heavy HMG bunkers very often, so... Maybe this will give you some ideas from your own games, and maybe you'll learn from uh, a couple of my, my words of wisdom here. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.